Hello everyone! You guys might remember that I talk about 5 deep sea animals that I found fascinating before. If not, go check out that YouTube video. Today, I want to talk about something that is even more bizarre than those 5 deep sea animals that I discovered. The sea cucumbers. There are a lot of soft-bodied sea animals that are extraordinary, but today I have picked the sea cucumbers. So, let's see how bizarre they are. First things first. There are 1,250 known sea cucumber species in the world, where some sources say there are even 1,700 of them. There are echinoderms, most of them are shaped like soft body cucumbers. They all live on or near the sea floor. Sometimes they can be partially buried below ground. Okay, introduction is done. Let's move on to the cool stuff. Just by looking at the photos, can you find any eye on them? Nope, you're definitely right. They do not have eye at all. But they do have two holes. One is their mouth, and the other one is their anus. They have two ways of feeding. The first one is that the tentacles gather up particles and it licks the plankton off on each tentacle with a centrally located mouth. The second way is to dig through the sediments on the seafloor, trying to look for decayed particles. Let's not forget about the other hole, anus. Their respiratory system is connected to the anus. They draw oxygenated water through the anus, and then the water goes into the respiratory tree. Then oxygen is transferred into fluids within the body cavity. Since it is still an anus, obviously they use that to pull. One of the research papers that was published last year from the University of Newcastle revealed how much they pull each year. They can poop over 60,000 tons of sediments across a coral reef. For some of you who are still not impressed with this number, let me help you visualize a little bit more. 60,000 ton is about the mass of five Eiffel Towers. Their poop is much like ours, very nutritious. Our poop is rich in organic matter and is a premium fertilizer for farming. Due to the way they are fed and pooped, they act like a filter for sediments, where the poop coming out the salt water clean sediments in the bioturbation process, providing fresh sediments and releasing calcium carbonate as a byproduct to help support the growth of corals. Well, they look so boring, just like a normal cucumber, right? And they're probably defendless. If you think about that, then you're wrong. They eject their breathing organs called contravarian tributes from their anus to ensnare and entangle predators. But don't worry, the organs will be regenerated within days or weeks. Some can expel poisonous chemicals from the anus again, driving predators away. I find the sticky glue to be more fascinating than the poisonous chemical. What do you think? Comment below and share your thoughts. Of course, they can sometimes get eaten too, for example by the giant sun star in the North Pacific. The anus is pretty amazing actually. They use the anus to breathe, poop, and defense. They also are important to other species. The most well-known one is the pearlfish. Pearlfish are eel-shaped fish. They swim through the sea cucumber's anus when they breathe. They even live inside a sea cucumber. Sometimes they're very inviting and they're willing to share sea cucumber's anus with multiple pearlfish. But why? To pearlfish, the sea cucumber can provide them a shelter. Most of the time, pearlfish are not harmful to sea cucumbers, unless they eat sea cucumbers' internal organs. I mean, someone is offering you a shelter and you take away their stuff in return? That doesn't sound good to me. Anyways, after knowing how interesting they are, what is their future? Continuing to recycle nutrients on the seafloor? Probably. What is happening now is that overfishing for human consumption is posing a threat to them. The Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, known as CITES, ensures that the international trade in the specimens of wild animals and plants does not threaten the survival of the species. They put four species of sea cucumbers on their protective list, including the brown sea cucumber, white titfish, and the black titfish. 
Last year, research from the University of Sydney revealed that the global market for sea cucumbers is estimated to be worth over US dollar 200 million annually. Do we really want to see them disappear? No. Perhaps we should start to consume less and less gradually, allowing them to reproduce and live happily. Thank you for enjoying Bolomui's Ocean Discovery Channel. See you next time and take care.